Hello guys and welcome to this video. So in this video we're going to talk about uh, the specimen paper, right? So we're going to look at questions about programming in Visual Basic that may come in your exam or just as a hobby, right? And so remember this video is sponsored by Crowdlane. So go on to crowdlane.co.cw to purchase courses uh, that have to do with programming. So let's get right into it, right? And so the first question this is so remember this is simsec this is computer science uh this is the specimen paper which is the standard paper uh simsec has given us right and we look at the distribution of the marks and we see that programming accounts for 50 marks of the whole paper and so it means if you are comfortable with programming you can be able to actually have an a for yourself and let's look at question number one and so in today's video we're just going to do question number one and then the other questions we're going to do them in videos that follow and so subscribe to our channel and check in the description we have the link to our website where you can download the ultimate programming and web design course for all levels and so that means from form one to form four or just someone even a levels can use that course to revise and prepare for their exams right and so number one says design an interface and write a code that prompts a user to enter his or her name and then the output will be shown e.g hello chipo right and so we see that the question the first thing is design an interface right and to do this we're going to use visual studio code and in this tutorial i'm going to be using visual studio code sorry visual studio right so visual studio i'm going to be using visual studio 2019 and this is visual studio 2019 right so i've already created my project and if you are not familiar with how to create a project in visual studio you just come here on file and new and you come here on project and you have to select a windows forms up to have this interface right and so let's go back to the question and the question says write create a program right and write code that prompts a user to enter his or her name and so that actually means we need a component that allows the user to enter their name right and so in this case we come here on our toolbox that is our right and we come here and we search the toolbox and we say we want a text box right so that the user enters their name here and another thing that we're going to need is a label just to tell the user uh in their name in the text box right and so i'm going to search label and I'm going to drag it uh, to the to the form, right? And so, forgive me of that. And so you see that we have our label, we have our text box, right? And let's go back to the question again. And you see that the question says it should prompt the user, right? So if the user enters a name, it will say hello name right so if the name is chipo you say hello chipo and so we need a component that will initiate a process right so as for now we just have a label and a text box right so the text box takes in the name and we need something that will actually execute the process of showing hello whatever name that is entered right and so to do this we must have a button so a button is called it's kind of it's handling the event the click event right and so before going further i think we should name our component right so if i select label and go to our properties so you can just select label and right click and go to properties and we already have our properties window right and so i want to change the text that is written inside of the label that is the text that is shown on the form and i want to say enter name right so this is like a guideline to a user right and also i want to change the kind of the name of the object the name of the label so the name is actually label one and i might want to call it lbl name for convenience sake which we will talk about in the next videos that follow and i'm going to select my text box and i'm going to resize a bit after resizing i'm going to uh change the name of the text box remember uh, it's always good practice to change the name of the text box into something that you can remember and something that is related to what the text box does and so in this case the text box actually takes the name 
and so it's going to be txt name right it's going to be txt name and we are done and let's go to the button and so we want to change the name of the button to btn name since it's a button that initiates the name uh, function and we also want to change the text that is inside of the button that is shown on the form and so i'm just going to say click so it's going to tell the user click right so basically i can say that our interface is actually been designed and so the next step is to go and write code right and so the code is going to be written in the button event that's when the user clicks the button that is when the event should happen right so if i come here and i double click on the button uh we go to the button event and so remember in visual basic you have to declare a variable before using it remember when the user to enter a name after entering the name we want the the program to output hello whatever name that we enter and so this name should be held in a variable right and so we shall say dim sorry we shall say dim name is a string right is a string so here we're telling the computer it should create a memory right it should reserve memory for a variable called name and name should be of type string right and so this is basically very important in visual basic whenever you're programming but remember we want the name to be whatever value that is entered in the text box right and so i'm going to say name is equal to txt name dot text right and so that means whatever value that is entered in the text box is going to be equal to the name and remember the question tells us that after the person enters the name the program should output a low whatever name that is entered and so to output there are many ways you can output a, a message but i'm going to use a message box in this case so i'm going to say msg box and i'm going to put my parentheses and my quotes right and so here i'm just going to say hello and i'm going to put a space and i'm going to concatenate using the name okay and so here i'm going to explain a few things the reason why we put a space in hello is when we say hello name we want there to be a space between hello and the name and so we have to put a space inside the hello string right and also we use concatenation to add the name that is whatever value that is entered in the text box right and so this is our program and i think now it's time to actually run and see if it works and so i'm going to click start okay and so i'm going to minimize this i'm going to minimize everything and so this is our program right so it's telling me in the name right so i'm going to just as like what the question paper says i'm going to say chipo and i'm going to say click and there you go it says hello chipo right so this is basically how we answer that question right and so in the next videos that follow we're going to also answer the questions that follow and remember uh, for the full course on programming visual basic programming and web design there is a description in the link that is you can go to https that is crowdlane.co.zw we have many courses and we are increasing our content every day they are quality 1k videos and so you should go and purchase those videos they are also cheap right and this is has been nice and i will see you in the next video Okay.